Today we're talking about who I believe will be Joseph Parker's next opponent in early 2018. So if you enjoy the show, please consider hitting that subscribe button or even giving the thumbs up. And if you've got any comments, please free, feel free to get involved by jumping down to the comments section and uh, leaving a question or a comment. So today we're talking about Joseph Parker the WBO heavyweight champion with 24 wins out of 24 fights. And who I believe will be his next opponent. Now, last week we were talking about who we thought would be uh, Deontay Wilder's next opponent, who we thought would be Anthony Joshua's next opponent, whether we thought Tyson Fury would fight again. And this leads on from those um, discussions quite well. Now, last week there was a press conference to kind of, in theory, announce Joseph Parker's intentions going into 2018. But there was nothing, nothing concrete really came out of it apart from the fact that there was a definite vibe that they are trying to force um, Anthony Joshua, Eddie Hearn, into coming together and making the fight. Now, there was the impression that Joseph Parker's team were trying to portray was that they've got lots and lots of options um, by basically going through loads and loads of uh, potential fights. But realistically, the impression that I got from it was that none of those potential fights are interesting or more realistically, there's just not enough money on the table for them to be interested in it. So they are desperate for the Anthony Joshua fight. But for me, I believe that it's highly, highly unlikely. I mean, all of the other options are probably more likely than Anthony Joshua fighting Joseph Parker in their next fight. Um, they spoke about the fact that they would, both Anthony Joshua would like to the fight Joseph Parker would like the fight. That doesn't really mean anything. I mean, I spoke about in the Anthony Joshua fight that I think that Anthony Joshua holds all the cards in heavyweight division. He could literally have a fight with anyone he wants, and he would get it. He would get the. He will be getting the fights that he wants when he wants them. And I don't think Joseph Parker at this point in time um, is that person. Okay, so. Let's just go through what was discussed, what those options were, okay? So the first one they spoke about was uh, Lucas Brown, um, former champion, stripped of his title, um, beat Chagaev in a pretty, pretty exciting, pretty exciting matchup. Now they spoke about the fact that this has effectively been signed, but they're kind of almost leading. Lucas Brown on in the hope that they're going to get a bigger fight. I think this would be a good fight. I, I really think it would be a good fight. And we saw uh, Kevin Barry basically really defending Lucas Brown in that to almost talk up the fight that it was something that could happen. And the fact that he's a legit heavyweight, he's got power, etc. He really went to town to kind of defend him as a fighter and as a, a potential opponent. So that kind of kind of leads you in the direction of where um, the highly likely opposition is going to be. They then spoke about um, a fight happening in China where there's a lot of money. Uh, there's a lot of people that are prepared to bankroll a heavyweight title fight. And this would be against Zhang Zili, an, an, an undefeated Chinese uh, heavyweight operates out of the States. Undefeated, but like a lot of these guys, very, very inexperienced on in the professional game. Uh, CV is next to nothing um, and therefore when we're talking about some of these guys being ranked it's highly inflated because the opposition has been so poor and that is that that's something that I would say is quite likely because of the money <clears throat> and for me this is where everything surrounds the money um, in terms of Joseph Parker they need to maximize the money and that's why that's likely. The next thing they talk about was uh, Jennings 
in America. You know, Jennings has been out for a few years. He's fought just a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago, um, against a low-level opposition. I didn't actually see that fight. If anyone's got a link to that fight, jump down in the, in the comments and put me in the direction. I wouldn't mind checking out Jennings because I think Jennings is and has been one of the most underrated heavyweights uh, last couple of years. I mean, he lost those two fights against Ortiz and uh, Klitschko, but I mean, he's a he's he's underrated. I think I definitely think he's underrated. I mean, it would be a good fight, um, and it's something that could be could be made get his exposure in the states, all that sort of business. I think it's probably unlikely though. Next thing I spoke about was Fujimoto. This would be an ideal matchup for. Uh, Joseph Parker, he would run through him relatively easily, but they spoke they spoke about the fact that there wasn't much money there, so it's highly unlikely. Okay. They also spoke about Wilder, and again they said that there had been an offer from Wilder's team, but it just wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. So I would assume that it was a very derisory offer, um, almost from Deontay Wilder's uh, camp. Th- seen it as almost a keep busy fight to move forward to the bigger fights um, that they perceive are, are available in the UK. Okay, They also spoke about Povetkin, um, the Povetkin and the Hammer fight. Now this is a fight that's happening um, shortly. I'll have a, a, step, a separate video of this on my channel to discuss this. But this in theory is for uh, an eliminator for Joseph Parker's WBO title. Uh, a lot of people are just assuming that Povetkin will. Uh, this is a gimme. Um, and again, I mean that is if Povetkin's in the right zone. I mean that's a f- terrible fight for Joseph Parker, in my opinion. I mean, it's a real, real tough fight, um, um, and it would not be a guarantee. And the fact that this the fight. Would one hundred percent guarantee be be in Russia? It's going to be extremely tough for uh, Parker to retain his title after that. Um, so, so they're kind of the options. These are the people they spoke about. So they spoke about Brown. They spoke about Zeli. They spoke about Jennings, Povetkin, Fujimoto, um, Wilder, and Joshua. So they they spoke about a lot of people, and they gave the impression that there are loads and loads of options, but in reality. They're options that they just don't want to take. They want the Joshua fight. They want the big money. They want it in Wembley Stadium. They want to make the millions and the millions out of Joseph Parker. Now, uh, Kevin Barry believes that um, they want to be the they want to be the ones to beat Joshua. I mean, I don't necessarily think that is would happen, but, but that's kind of irrelevant. Um, I don't see the fight happening. I, I think Joshua's got other fights first so as I say I think the most likely outcome is that we're going to see Joseph Parker versus Lucas Brown probably in February um, for the WBO championship Um, and if he can get past that I mean he then has an opportunity to fight some of those other guys but then even then I see Wilder Joshua they've got other people in front of them first Okay, so as I say, it's going to be Brown or it's going to be the Chinese opponent as a kind of keep busy, easy-ish fight. Okay, so that's the end of this video. If you have any comments on it, please hit me up in the comments section. Hit the like button and consider subscribing. See you next time.